Gator Cation, day number one. We're in Payne's Prairie in Gainesville, Florida. Objective was to go out to Lachua Trail and see like eight cabillion gators, but the water level's too high and the trail's closed. So instead, we saw like six little tiny gators. That's okay. They were cool. Got some cool photos. So now we're out here at the other half of the park checking out some other trails. Maybe we'll see some bison, horses, hopefully some eagles and owls or something cool like that too. We'll find out. It's a really pretty day. Day two of Gatorcation was yesterday. I didn't do an intro on account of I didn't feel like it. But we spent the day at Silver Springs, kayaking through the beautiful crystal clear water of Silver Springs River. Saw a good bit of wildlife, lots of gators, lots of birds, lots of turtles. Guys, the turtles in these areas aren't afraid of anything. Usually a turtle sees you a mile away, he's in the water and gone. But not here in Florida, they don't care. I guess they're so used to people, they just hang out and chill while we get all the pictures we want. Haven't been seeing quite as many gators as I was anticipating, but that's okay. So the next few clips, we're gonna have this in the background, but this is in Silver Springs, that's okay. Day three, Gatorcation is spent here in Circle B Bar Reserve. We're about an hour outside of Tampa. We've been here for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, maybe more than that. It's been pretty promising. A few gators, some little gators, some giant gators, a gazillion turtles again, lots of birds, herons, osprey. Oh, there's a gator over there. Let's see if we can get him on the video. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there in the center of the screen. There. It's a terrible quality zoom in job, but there's the gator. I'll, of course, get a picture of him on my much better camera and put that in. You zoom that back out, I can't. I don't have my fingers. So that's cool. And enough of an intro because I have to take pictures now.
Circle B Bar Reserve has been a success. I told Krista earlier, probably my new favorite spot anywhere. I could spend a week here, I feel like. Krista, what was your favorite part on this particular day? I love the trees. They're huge and the Spanish moss just drapes over the trail and the sunlight filters through. It's really beautiful out here. For example, check that out. It's gorgeous. I think the highlight of the day for me is finding a gator and a group of turtles all taking a nap together. That's pretty cool. I had the opportunity to photograph that a while back, back in Mobile, but didn't have a camera on me, so it didn't work. I've been waiting ever since to see it again, and finally found it. You guys will see later. Gatorcation day three, part two. Coming at you from Lettuce Lake Park, right here in Tampa. It's a beautiful little park that I came across a few years ago. So anytime I'm in the area, I try to stop by. It's a sweet little boardwalk area right through the swampy part of the Hillsboro River. Found a couple of gators, a couple of snakes hanging out here. Not a bad way to end the day. Gatorcation day number four was supposed to come from Mayaka State Park on a hike or a kayak trip down to Deep Hole. Super heavy concentration of gators. We've been there before. Last December we were there, saw 130 something gators all in one area. Got up this morning at 445, left our Airbnb at 530, pulled into up to the gate at Mayaka River State Park at 715 to be in line for our passes, only to find out about 30 minutes later. That deep hole is closed today for an area burn. So, plan B. I'm somewhere down near Naples, I think, at Crew Bird Rookery, something like that. I'll have to double check that name. Anyways, long time bucket list item of mine is to photograph a mother gator with her babies. And due to the twist and turn of events today, check this out, guys. First of all, you can see Mama Gator back there. And wake up my camera. Here we go. Give you a shot of the viewfinder. There they are. Three of them hanging out. And there's several more back in there by her head. Very cool, guys. This wasn't in the plans today, but here we are. So we see what else this day has in store for us.
Gator Cation day number five. We're here in Shark Valley. Finally made it down here to the Everglades. Another hit list item on this trip was to see an American crocodile. Well, there he is. An American crocodile. Check him out. Look at all those pearly whites. Very cool. Gatorcation day number six was yesterday. I needed a breather from the camera on the backpack, so we spent the day at Zoo Miami. It's a fantastic place. If you're ever in Miami, definitely go. Probably the coolest zoo we've ever been to, I think. Yeah, it was really good. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll post some pictures of it. Maybe I won't. I guess you'll find out. Today is day number seven, and we just finished our finished our nine-mile hike back here at Crew Bird Rookery Swamp. We were here the other day, Tuesday, I think it was. So we had an extra day on the trip before we head home, and this is where I want to come back to. And good thing we did because we saw a lot of cool stuff. What was your favorite favorite section of the trail, Kristen? There was a section with a mom that had her babies, and there were easily over 17, maybe? 17 babies just trailing yeah. along behind her. They were in the mud, so they are really hard to see, but we saw them. Yeah, just clumps of gators. And how many, how many situations like that do we come across, moms with babies out there? Uh, three, I think. Three or four. Oh, because I came, I saw the one that you didn't see. It's a video, so yeah. Yeah, lots of them out there. And we saw a painted bunning. That was unexpected. Very cool. I don't know how to describe it. I'm colorblind, so I'd say it wrong anyways. But you'll see pictures of that. So, cool place. Now we're going to start our 10-hour drive back to Mobile. 